Welcome back to the front. In this video, we are going through how to tame, is the, like recruit, whatever you want to call it, because they are humans in this game. You'll see an enemy right in front of me. We are going to essentially tame that enemy. We're going to recruit them. They're going to become a follower. In order to do this, what you need to do is unlock the ability to craft something called a simple jammer. It's a really, really early unlock. If you go to the tech tree, you'll see it right here. You're going to need iron ingots, tape, and ether shards. And then once you have them crafted, I'd say craft around eight or something like that. Maybe even get a few more. I've currently got 16, but you're going to need those and you're going to need either fruit pies, you're going to need some cooked meat, or you're going to need some wild berries. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this enemy. We're going to attack them until an icon comes above their head. So if we come over to this enemy and we attack them and hit them again, providing I don't die, watch, she's going to ruin me. An axe probably wasn't the best idea. There you go, take that. So you'll see the icon above the head. If we now get out of the jammer and we throw it at the enemy, if I can actually hit them, there we go. So they're now in a, like a calm down sort of state. And if you go into their inventory, you go to the favorite food, you've got the wild berries, you've got the roast meat, and you have the fruit pie. You need to put one of their favorite foods into their inventory bar so they can start eating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 98 wild berries in there and you'll see that a lot of them are being consumed straight away. So if we come out of that inventory, what we now need to do is you'll see these green bars on the like UI box that's on screen. You'll see chaos. You're going to see obedience as well. Those are the two you need to focus on. And that's also the reason you need quite a few simple jammers. Basically, what you need to do is get this obedience level up to 100% so that they become your follower. But if that chaos bar hits zero, they're going to get back up, start attacking you. You're going to lose everything you've put in to try and to, like, recruit that person as a follower. And that's why you need the simple jammers, because when their chaos bar starts getting like quite far down, chuck another simple jammer at them, it's going to bring that bar up again. And their obedience goes up every single time they eat. So your job here is to get that obedience up to 100%. So you're going to see that that chaos bar is at about 650 now. So what I'm going to do is get out a jammer. We're going to throw it. And you'll see that the bar has gone back up to full. So now there's no chance this scavenger is going to get back up and start attacking. And the food in the inventory can keep that obedience level going up. And just make sure you actually hit the scavenger with the simple jammers. Because I hit the ground in front of, like, a little bit in front. And, uh, yeah, it never filled up that chaos bar. So just be careful. Make sure you're throwing them at the character itself. So you'll see we're now at 98% on the obedience bar. We do not have long at all until this scavenger is our follower. The one thing I will say with this is it takes a very, very long time. Like, I mean, an incredibly long time. And I believe it's even longer for other enemy types. So if you go to a military camp, you come across a grenadier, it's going to take even longer to do this. And any moment now, as soon as the fullness hits 171, we are going to have our very first follower. So what we need to do now is we need to subdue them. And once that is done, you'll see they actually get their own like health bar and stuff on the left-hand side. But then if we go to recall a follower, you need to, well, their inventory needs to be emptied. So if we take the food out for a moment, if we then go to recall follower, what that is going to do is the follower is going to disappear. You get a scavenger that goes into like your inventory. We've got the scavenger there. So if I put the scavenger in place of the bowlers, if we come over, let's just say to my furnace, what I can do now is I can open this and I can grab my follower. I can put her in there. And then what I can do is grab that food that I took and put it in the follower food bar, activate that. And now what the follower is going to do is actually going to get XP and everything like that. I don't know exactly how they work because you would think the follower would be able to do something with like getting ores and things like that. But I'm not entirely sure how everything regarding the followers works. But that is exactly how you tame recruit. You get yourself a follower in the front. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.